Coming up next, Episode 1, Dr. Robert's Countdown, the Top 11 Songs from 1974. What if we could go back to a time, to a moment, to a song? There is a fifth dimension. Beyond that is known to man. It is a dimension that is as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light my fire and shadows of the night, between weird science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the age of Aquarius, the fifth dimension of it's just my imagination. It is an area which we call the quick spin zone. He's got a PhD in rock history and a pretty clean time machine. Dr. Robert. Dr. Robert. You're a new and better man. He helps you to understand. He does everything he can. What? New Mother Nature Studio. Here's your host, Dr. Robert. Thank you, Jaime. Best sidekick in the business. And you are in the zone. Welcome to this edition of Quick Spin. And we'll count down the top 11 songs that mark the year in rock and roll. So, without any further ado, let's fire up the time machine and go for a little ride. <laughs> Activating hyperdrive. 1974. Number 11. Let's kick this off with a banger. Here's BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive, with You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. She said I had it coming to me. She looked at me with the big brown eye. She said you ain't seen nothing yet. For the baby, you just ain't seen n -n -n nothing yet. Something that you never gonna forget For a baby you just ain't seen Randy wrote the stutter into the song as a jab to his brother Gary, who had a speech impediment. During recording, the band didn't even tune their instruments. It was just a quote-unquote work song to warm up to get the amps and mic set properly. Randy thought he sounded like Frank Sinatra when it was recorded without the stutter, so they went back to the first recording, and the song went number one by December. Gary lost the stutter, but the song never did. Number 10. Number 10 on our countdown features original drummer John Rutsey. Who? Here's Rush with maybe Getty Lee's favorite song, Working Man. <laughs> Rush released their self-titled debut album on their own label, Moon Records. A DJ named Donna Halper from Cleveland, Ohio, listened to the last track, Working Man, and put it on the air, giving the band liftoff. One reason, running at a little over seven minutes, the song gave plenty of time for a DJ to take a bathroom or a smoke break. Thanks, Getty. Number 9. From North of the Border, another scintillating singer-songwriter, Gordon Lightfoot. Sundown, and you better take care. Sundown, you better take care if I find you. The inspiration for this song came from when Lightfoot worried about his girlfriend, who was out at the bars all day while he was home writing songs. Gordon recalled, it was written just around sundown. Sundown, you better take care. What's your favorite from Gordo's catalog? A very accomplished Canadian singer-songwriter. Coming soon to the X.
It's madness. You vote. Back to the countdown. Number eight. What's a game, girl, if you never lose? Ozark Mountain Daredevils with Jackie Blue. Ooh, 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 Jackie Blue. Jackie is in pursuit of happiness, but never gives anything a chance to make her happy. Easily bored, little flighty. Seems to be quite OMD from Springfield, Missouri. Sported long hair and a hell raising attitude, which is the theme for their first major hit. If you want to get to heaven, you got to raise a little hell. Number seven. This smooth flowing tune became an instant hit for this band. The Doobie Brothers check in at number seven with Black Water. Keep on rolling, Mississippi moon to keep on shining on me. Keep on rolling, Mississippi moon to keep The Doobies are one of the few bands with hits sung by three different singers. Tom Johnston, Michael McDonald, and thanks to Blackwater, Patrick Simmons. What's your go-to tune when you're behind the wheel? Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. This day in rock history. April 15th, 1974, this song hit the U.S. airwaves, charting top 10 in eight different countries, including the band's home country, the Netherlands. Brenda Lee's coming on strong. At number six, here's Golden Earring with Radar Love. I've been driving all night, my hands wet on the wheel. There's a voice in my head that drives my heel. The line, the radio's playing some forgotten song. Brenda Lee's Coming On Strong is a reference to the 1966 Brenda Lee song, Coming On Strong, which made number 11 in the U.S. Number 5. Welcome back. The Sound of Philadelphia for the Love of Money. Number 5. The OJs. Recorded at Sigma Sound Studios in Philadelphia, the band added effects to the background vocals as well, creating a reverse echo where the echo precedes the vocal. Something Jimmy Page did on a few Zeppelin tracks, including Whole Lot of Love, Zeppelin 2. Number four. Number four. She's got electric boots and a mohair suit, and you better ask Candy and Ronnie if they've seen them yet. Here's Elton John with Bup, up, up, Benny and the Jets. <laughs> Benny is a female character Elton has described as a sci fi rock goddess. The front woman of a futuristic band who is evidently into mohair. She always looks good with the little grease in her hair. And those electric boots. Reg, Billy, John Lord, Bruce Hornsby, Bob Seger, Billy Preston, Ian Stewart. Who's your favorite keyboard player? We want this to be as interactive as possible. Please leave a comment. Vote for your favorite band logos on Logo Madness or try and stump the panel with your mystery rocker clues. Maybe sometime soon you'll be featured on a future quick spin to the past. Now back to Dr. Robert. From Southern California, by way of the UK, let's bring on Nigel. What's your favorite part about Quickspin? Well, to be honest, my mate from Birmingham had told me about this bloke called Jaime and the tales he spins. I managed to tune in and I really liked it, so I'm still with the program. I always say Jaime's the funny one. So, Nigel, clue us in on today's mystery rocker. Formed back in England in 1970, this group called themselves Smile for setting on a much more majestic moniker. So, who is today's mystery rocker? While we ponder Nigel's clues, back to the countdown. 
Number three. Here's a song about a group that just can't sit still. Paul McCartney and the Wings, Band on the Run. Lyrically, the song starts from a metaphorical prison. During a lengthy meeting with executives at Apple Records, George Harrison complained, if I ever get out of this house. McCartney remembered the line and used it years later in this song. Asked if this was a reference to Wings escaping from the Beatles, he replied, sort of, yeah. I think most bands on tour are on the run. Do you have a few of those songs that every time you hear just kind of brightens your day, puts you in a better mood? Yeah, I got a few. Number two. From one space cowboy to another, and nobody calls him Maurice. Nobody. Here's the Steve Miller Band with the Joker. Some people call me the space cowboy. Some people call me the space cowboy Some call me the gangster of love Some people call me Maurice Cause I speak of the pompous of love The greatest pickup line of all time might just be I really love your peaches, wanna shake your tree Lovey dovey lovey dovey well, that part came from Lovey Dovey by the R&B group, The Clovers. Did you know Boss Skaggs was on the first three Steve Miller Band albums? And Paul McCartney filled in as a drummer on Book of Dreams. If you said Queen is today's mystery rocker, you'd be right on the money. Freddie Mercury sure can turn a phrase. And here is Queen. The number one song of 1974 with Killer Queen. And she's dynamite with a laser beam. She's a killer queen. Got the first single from Queen's third album, Sheer Heart Attack. Killer Queen was their first song to chart outside of the UK. Brian May once told Q Magazine, this is a perfect pop record and one of Freddie's greatest. Beautifully constructed and one of the solos I'm most proud of. In what country was Freddie Mercury born? And what's his real name? Drop a comment. Thank you so much for joining us and I can't wait to see you on a future quick spin to the past. Until then, music is a doctor. I just play one on the X. You're still here? It's over. Go home. I heard it on the X. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. All right, I Elvis has left the building. Thanks for watching. Tell them you heard it on the X.